In today's video, I want to show you two different methods on how to find out more information about your competitors. And to be more specific, to find out how many of a specific item they have in stock. Now I'm going to show you two different ways of figuring this out. I'm going to show you a manual way and then I'll show you a tool that you can download that helps you do this very easily. First I'll show you the manual way and secondly I will show you the tool that you can use that will do it automatically for you. So let's get to my laptop and I will show you right now. Okay now I'm going to show you how to find your competitors stock levels on individual items on Amazon. And this sometimes works with Amazon as well. So let's take a look at the Lego Star Wars TIE Fighter Advanced Prototype toy. We are going to scroll down, take a look at all the items that are being offered. You see Amazon is selling it at $34.99. Let's take a look at a few other people's stuff too. So first this is this is how you I'm gonna find out this person's stock levels of this item. So first you click add to cart and you go into your cart and change the quantity. I click the 10 plus and I enter in 999 because that's the highest number they'll give you. And I click update and it tells me this seller only has two of these available. So that is the information for that seller. Let me try someone else. How about this guy who is selling it for $41.29? So again, I click Add to Cart, go into my cart, change the quantity to $999, and update. This seller has only 60 of these available. Whoa, that's a big difference than just having one or two available. This guy has 60 available. That makes a big difference when I'm trying to decide if I want to compete with all these other sellers. If I see that there's 30 sellers selling an item, I don't want to just assume everyone has one or two. I want to find out how many, how deep some of these people are. Because it makes a big difference if I'm selling against 30 people that have one or two and 30 people where maybe five or six of them have 60 or more in stock. So it's something to think about. Here's another little tip to be sure to delete this item from your shopping cart or you're going to have thousands of dollars in your shopping cart and you might accidentally do one click ordering and order that thing. So let's go and check Amazon to see if Amazon will let us do this trick for this item that they are selling. So click into cart, change the quantity to 999, click update. It says this seller has a limit of two per customer. So Amazon's not giving us the quantity that they have in stock right now for this item because uh, they're only doing, they have limited purchasing um, limitations on there right now. But other items that Amazon is selling, you can go in and find out that they've got 5 in stock, 10 in stock, 999 in stock. I've seen that before where Amazon's shown that. Um, so some items they'll put a limit and will only tell you how many that you can purchase. Other times they'll actually say what their stock levels are. So, so this is just a little tip. Again, don't forget, delete it from your... Um, shopping cart and this has uh, hopefully been helpful for how to find out your competitors stock levels on items that you're either selling or thinking about selling. Now that I showed you how to do the little shortcut of how to find out how many items your competitors have in stock let me tell you about a Chrome extension that does all of this for you. It's called the How Many Chrome extension. Now, this is how it works. Say we're looking at the LEGO Star Wars Millennium Falcon, and we want to look at all of the offers. So we see that there's 57 new offers. We go and we take a look at these offers, and there we go. We see that there's all these different people selling it. Well, let's we go up to the little Chrome extension, How Many, and watch it do its work. Saves so much time. This person has five in stock. Amazon says one in stock. Of course, I do believe that might not just be one in stock. That might be that they limit one per item. So Amazon probably does have more than one in stock. But this per other person has 44 in stock. This other person has 35 in stock. And so 
even though there's 50 plus offers for this item, each of these people have multiple items in stock. So you can find out very quickly just how many each individual seller has in stock in their Amazon FBA inventory just by using the How Many Chrome extension. It's a free Chrome extension and you can use up to five searches a day if you want unlimited searches. It, there's a small monthly fee. I will put a link to where you can go to find this extension and I'll put that on the screen and hey look there it is. So you can go and find more information about that if you just want the free version to see five a day that's awesome just to test it out but then the full version costs monthly and uh, and it's just a huge time saver especially when it comes to online arbitrage that's all for today thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like this video you can scroll down make a thumbs up leave us a comment or a question and if you want to learn more about turning part-time hours into a full-time income Hang out with us at the blog, fulltimefba.com. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And for more videos, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye.